Hello, I want to show you my normal test flight and uh, first I want to show you some numbers. This is Topcat, a uh, program that you set fuel and passengers and uh, so on. I don't know if you can see it on the movie but I have zero fuel weight 55.6 ton tons, uh, dry operation weight uh, 42,000 tons. Uh, takeoff weight 63 tons. So uh, stabilizer tr uh, trim 5.2. And now I will uh, program the CDU and prosim. So here we have the CDU. This is what I do. I will uh, so that I will go into the ident position page. Go to Iris, set Iris position, ESGG, that's Landvetter, root, ESGG, 2, ESGG, runway 03, activate, that's it, pre-flight initialization, uh, fuel weight 55.6, uh, reserves 2, cost index 40, 11,000 feet, uh, cruising altitude, I won't put in any winds and temperatures because I have set uh, no winds and temperatures um, like that. Uh, I will set 14 degrees or you can say 20 degrees. So we have a little more trust on the takeoff. Flaps 5. Center of gravity, I use 20, 5.12, almost as Topcat uh, uh, pre uh, predicted. I go into Dep ARP page and go to runway 03 and uh, use the SID Topla at M. I execute it, go to index page. Approach ILS 03 and RISMA 2L and I execute and now if we look at the display on the route uh, we can see that the route is discontinued here uh, and I don't do not want uh, that waypoint RISMA because it's too sharp uh, angle into that waypoint. Anyway, so so I will delete Risma. So I go to the legs page, go to I copy GG711 to the scratch pad and put it up there. And now you can see I have a new route. Deceleration top of descent. I will choose execute. Uh, I go down to um, uh, I check the um, approach at this point it want me to have 204 knots and 3000 feet and everything would be good if it had that sp speed it, it, it's fast because what I've heard I should put out uh, flaps to 10 and gear at this point and uh, it's too fast I think so anyway, I want 180 knots at 3000 feet at this point. So, it wants me to execute it and you can now see that uh, the curve here has changed because the speed has changed. All clear to me. And now I executed, top of descent and the acceleration moved. So, if everything goes right, I should at this point have uh, a GG713 have 180 knots and 3000 feet without wind and nothing strange. Uh, I can also go to, um, let's see, I can also go to the VNAV page. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, I think it's 15, 
and there we have the Elnav page uh, I have I will choose Vnav so we have uh, some different degrees here uh, descent path 2.7 2.7 we have one descent path that is 3.1 um, that is not good and one that is 3 3 3 degrees is okay on the uh, on the ILS but not more uh, anyway it should it should I can't understand really why my route won't work but anyway I hope you can see the numbers here and uh, I will go back I will set the um, uh, pressure air pressure and also I will put in another restriction I can never have 110 knots at the first waypoint so I will put in 160 and now the route is recalculated again uh, and let's see if some numbers are changed so I will update nothing really changed uh, there we have it. I have set 24 degrees at the MCP and also 24 degrees. Uh, my I will set my takeoff speeds and it stands pre-flight complete. I don't think it should be pre-flight complete before I execute these numbers and uh, the, the speeds. It wants me to have 140 knots at takeoff. I will press LNAV and also VNAV. Let's see. LNAV with VNAV is pressed. Uh, I will press meters and FPV. Uh, so now everything should be set and I should have a route that, uh, that works. It should calculate a perfect route. Uh, let's see the cruising page what speed I will have, I will have 303 knots at the cruising page at 11,000 feet fuel is good, everything seems good so now I will do a takeoff and by the way this is the first part in the video so uh, I will set RTO I will set uh, Take off go round speed and now you can see the speed is going up. Yeah, very stable. And the, the speed tape is going up. Um, let's see. Yeah, speed is going up. Soon I will reach V1. And B1 rotates a little too fast, but anyway, I choose gear up, gear goes up, 700 feet, everything looks good except the yellow band shouldn't be here, some other strange things with the speed tape. I am above 1000 feet, I put on the MCP. So we can uh, check the route. Yeah, everything is going to plan. I will pause now and make the next part.